Our top story tonight, Representative Mike Conaway calling an emotional news conference today. There he announced his decision for retirement after 15 years of service. He says it's time for him to step down and pass the baton. Fox 24's Gian Cam was at that conference earlier today. She has our report tonight. My vocabulary is not good enough to describe just how proud I am and what an honor and a privilege it has been uh, to serve the folks in District 11. Representative Mike Conaway announcing his retirement Wednesday after 15 long years in Congress. He says it's time. Uh, you know, part of it is uh, you know closing a door on something that you love. Uh, if it doesn't hurt a little bit, then maybe you didn't love it very much. Conaway, having served as a crucial asset in Washington, D.C. for the past two years, he headed up the House Intelligence Committee's Russia investigation and dedicated himself to passing the farm bill along with other initiatives. Timing wise has to do with leadership. I told folks for, for 14 years that that if I was no longer in leadership and didn't have influence beyond my own vote that I was coming home. Above all else he says he'll miss the work, the people and his team. You cannot get in the house without raising your hand, looking good people in the eye and asking them for their vote. Asking them to trust you. It is a high honor. It's a great responsibility and, uh, and I'll miss it. Thank you, I told him, I said, I'll keep voting for you as long as you keep doing a good job. And I'm proud to say I've voted for him every single time. Wife Suzanne Conaway says it's bittersweet to reminisce on the journey they've shared. We'll miss it. We'll miss the people and the, the opportunities to do the wonderful things that we've gotten to do that most people don't get to do. Um, but it's, it's time. She says the road to Congress hasn't always been easy, but it's one she knew was worth the wait. I think the hardest thing for me was the times that he's missed with our family and our grandchildren. He was not able to be there for football games and soccer games and cheerleading and dance recitals and birthday parties. And the couple's retirement plan to finish their lifetime bucket list of cross-country road trips. Go to Mount Rushmore and go to the Grand Canyon and, and take some pictures on the steps of the capitals along the way. I'm Jian Kim, Fox 24 News. Thanks, John, for that. And we hear they only have about 15 more capitals to go.